Hey folks, today I want to give you just a little tip on your three bead fillet weld, the T joint in the overhead position. So what we have is what I commonly call the H weld. It looks kind of like an H where you took the line past the two uprights. So I commonly call it an H weld and we're going to do that in the overhead position. Now what we want to make sure we have is all of our settings right. So we're going to run it with 6010. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this on DC. And we're going to run it in uh, DCEN electrode positive, or DCEP, excuse me, DCEP electrode positive, and that is reverse polarity. So that is with the plus side on the stinger, and the negative side is hooked my ground. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my five pieces. I'm using 3 16th stock and I'm going to cut six inch pieces. I'm going to cut five of them and I'm going to weld them together. Uh, I'm going to tack them all together to make it look like a big H. Kind of just like this. So this is my big H. You can see I have five pieces that are six inches long, all tacked together, and I have a handle so I can hold it above and be overhead. So what I'm going to do, now that I have this all tacked up, I'm going to clamp it. I'm going to clamp it where it's comfortable for me to stand up underneath it. And I don't want to sit down and then have all those sparks fall on my lap. So I'm going to tack it so I can stand and have the, have the stinger nice and steady. I like to brace my um, arm off of my body so I'm not hanging out here and then getting tired and having it droop down. I want my angle constant. I want it the same angle the whole way. Now on your angles, the different passes, we're doing three passes, so the different passes will have a different angle. On your first, on your very first pass, you're just gonna come in there at a 45 degree. You're gonna put the same amount of electrode on this piece as you're putting on this piece. So we're gonna come in there at a 45 degree. Now on the second pass, it's going to be a little different because we're going to go right into the toe of the weld that you just put on there. So the weld is going to, or the angle of this second pass is going to be a little different, probably around a 50 to a 55 degree, okay? Because we're putting that weld right on the toe of that first weld. And on the third pass, the third weld we put on here, it's going to be different as well because the root of this third weld will be right on the toe of that first one. So I'm all set up. I got my weld, my metal up there on the stand. I'm ready to weld. Remember all your personal protective equipment. You got your gloves, your jacket, your mask, you got your cap in there make sure you button your jacket up all the way because not this isn't like flat not even like horizontal we're going to be welding up here so any sparks that are falling could find their way in here if we have it just unbuttoned i like to button it up all the way and then i like to have my collar pulled up as well so we'll go ahead and we will start a weld here We'll see how it looks. Oh, before I weld, right now my setting, I'm on DC electrode positive, and I'm at 105 right now. So we'll go ahead and chip that off and then check it. All right, so we can see in here, not too shabby, not terrible. 
I got a little bit more slag to get off of there. So there's your first pass. <clears throat> so it was sitting like this. And so I was right in here welding. So now on my second pass, I'm going to weld right in the toe of this weld. So my root of my next weld is gonna be right in the toe of there. Hey folks, so I got all of the welding done on one. So I have three passes in here. You can see I got my lower one and then my upper one. It's uh, not bad. I haven't done overhead for a while. And if a student brought this to me and said, okay, I'm done, I would probably say, go ahead and try it again. Which is nice that we have all of these other fillets we can do so we can get good practice. So as you can see, not terrible, but I need to practice a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do all the rest of these on overhead and see if my last one is a whole lot better than my first one. All right, folks, so that should help you along. Um, remember, put all your personal protective equipment on. Make sure that you are not letting any areas where sparks could get down your shirt, get down your gloves. Make sure you're well protected. And then uh, for the setup, I was on DC electrode positive on the... Um, 105 setting so if it's too hot for you turn it down and if it's uh, hard to keep and strike an arc just turn it up a little bit just uh, play around with the different settings and see what works best for you all right have fun welding <laughs>